Good afternoon. Okay, we're the last speakers, so no pressure. <laughs> um, Edwin Land was an American inventor. On holiday, he took a photo of his three-year-old daughter. She asked why she could not see it, the result straight away, and she kept asking why. Land thought about her question, and an idea formed and in his head, and he went on to develop the Polaroid camera, a revolutionary product which sold over 150 million units and made Land famous. Why are children so much more creative than adults? Why does creativity get crushed? It is learnt, is it, it is learnt behaviour to no longer be creative. I have had the pleasure of working with many young adults and children over the last 10 years. Uh, and when it comes to ideas, um, you know, some of the simplest solutions to problems come from children. So should we think a little bit more simply when it comes to coming up with ideas? Um, you know, creativity can be crushed when you start school. Uh, as, you, as you could imagine, you know, you all sat in rows like this and you're not allowed to speak. Um, and if, sometimes if you do, you get told off. So if we were more childlike, would that make us more creative and innovative? School limits our creativity more than anything else because it focuses on how well you can cram your memory, memories, memorise things. Children have the benefit of not knowing what is not possible. For us, everything is possible. Adults, on the other hand, are surrounded by rules and regulations. They have experienced rejection, failures, failures and humiliation. Adults, when they come up with an idea going through their mind, is it feasible? Can it be done? What if I fail? Do you remember when you were a kid? Who remembers when they were a kid? I, I do. You all do. OK. <laughs> So do you remember when your parents or somebody said no and you would go like this and you would have a strop and a tantrum? Yeah? You remember that? Okay. Think about if you were like that. I'm not suggesting that we all go around and just stomp and be moody and have tantrums, but think about that, the way that, that process of having a tantrum um, and, and constantly asking, why, 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 why not, why not, okay? If you, if you, if you bring back that, that why and that why not, when, when it comes to coming up with ideas and being creative, it can make you a better person and come up with better ideas. To be creative, think like a child. Find your inner child and develop childlike curiosity. Play is beneficial for adults as much as it is for kids. Why do you think Google have so many cool things at their offices? They want their staff to play to make them more creative. I have the pleasure of working with an amazing uh, tech startup in Manchester. And they have, when I first started there, they had stuff that you could play with. And I was so, I've never, you know, I'm 45, so I've never worked somewhere where you could play with stuff. Um, and actually, it makes the company, which is Wakelet, uh, more creative and come up with better ideas because they take time out of their, their, their busy day and they actually play. Um, you know, our, our, the founder of Wakelet, Jamal, is a, a very keen chess player. And the biggest thing in the office is when he loses, he turns into that tantrum child if he loses. But it makes him really creative because he's constantly tweaking the, 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 the product. Um, and I, I think it sort of brings the team together because they play together. Who likes ice cream? Yeah. It can be a messy eating... It can, it can be get messy eating it. Ice cream everywhere. Best friends, Sam and Oliver, found a solution to the problem that could change the way we eat ice cream forever and not get messy. The, it, they, inve they invented the drip drop. A thick wafer saucer which fits around the ice cream cone to catch ice cream drips. Sam and Oliver came up with the idea when they were 10 years old. They secured $50,000 on investment on Shark Tank. What would you say um, is the, the biggest quality of an entrepreneur? Is it leadership? 
Um, is it um, passion? Or is it creativity? Because as an entrepreneur, you constantly have to be coming up with ideas. So if you were more childlike and more playful, do you think that would help? Yes. <laughs> OK. I, I, I have the pleasure of standing up here today with my 11-year-old daughter. I have another daughter, Olivia, who is 13. And I think having children made me find my inner child. It made me more creative. Um, I never used to work for myself. Um, I started working for myself after having children, and I have done for the last 10 years. And they have made me find that inner child. And I think, you know, I think when it comes to, to coming up with ideas, sometimes if you go right back to basics and think in a much more simple way, you can be more creative and the ideas will just simply flow. I would like to leave you today, tomorrow or next week, I would like you to be a little bit more playful. I want you to run through the leaves. Breathe in that cool, crisp autumn air and think like a child. And let's see if you can come up with some amazing ideas because we all have loads of ideas. And let's be more like her. Thank you. Thank you.